What is going on, you guys? It's your boy. And today we are going to be covering a a game that is not yet released in in a and I don't know if we have an exact release date yet. However, it should definitely come. Um, this game should be competition for Genshin Impact, Blue Protocol, Tower of Fantasy, those action RPG anime type games. They're very um very combat focused. Uh, but also very uh, exploration focused. This game is um, the combat is. I feel like it's more of a successor to Genshin. So it's, it's, it seems a little bit more in depth. Um, and obviously, you still got you know the dope anime waifus. The the graphics look great. The game is on PC and Android, just like Genshin as well, right? Um, I don't know everything about this game. But from what I can see, you know, the combat, the graphics, the polish, um, and the revenue that the game um, could potentially bring in for this genre, I feel as though this, this could be one of the best, if not the best, anime RPGs to drop this year. Um, it's still, still a playtest. However, this game has a lot of potential, is the TLDR of what I'm trying to say. So let's go ahead and watch the gameplay. We're gonna watch uh we're gonna watch the PC gameplay and we're gonna watch Android gameplay. This is not my gameplay. I'm actually gonna link the channels where this gameplay is gotten from. Uh, it's actually uh this video is right here it's from Stepperu, which he's a he plays everything. Really cool guy. I'm gonna watch all the gameplay, just like a couple minutes, a couple minutes. I'm gonna skip through a little bit. But this this first boss fight, I watched a little bit of the gameplay before I decided to make a video on it. Um, and I did a little bit of research just so I can make sure, you know, my opinion on the game was good enough for me to put it on my channel and support it. But. Yeah, I support this game. It, it looks very good. Combat looks very fun. So the dodge parry, like the dodge parry system, seems very on point. You get rewarded, highly rewarded for having good dodges, which leads me to believe the mechanics of this game may end up getting um, very, very Dodge heavy, Osu style, dude. Through ARPG. Look at that cutscene, bro. That was that was that was dope. And the boss kind of looks like a hollow. I'm not gonna lie, he looks a little bit like a fucking hollow. And that, I really started vibing with this game. I was looking at the art, the combat looks great, the animations look great. I'm hoping the game has a, uh, a lot of character diversity. I'm not just playing with waifus. But from what I've seen so far, it does look good. Freaking drop kick though, dude. <laughs> I really like the cutscenes in this game. The interactive cutscenes. Don't want to press the mouse button. Kind of plays like a, uh, you know, like a triple A, a triple A game, man. For it to be coming to an Android PC, like. I want to know more about the lore. And that's one thing I haven't gotten as of yet. So that was the first part of the boss fight. Looks sick, looks great. We get it, we get it, we get it, right? I'm going to show a little bit of the exploration aspects. He looks like he builds a party, just like, you know, 
It's like Genshin. He's building the party. He's got his little characters. So that, you know, a little bit of Gasha is most likely coming for this game. But that, you know, that's, that's fine to an extent as long as they balance it properly. But the environment looks great. This is on PC. It's on Ultra. But this is an Android game. I mean, it's still anime. You know what I mean? It's not like the most amazing graphics in the world, but for me, it looks aesthetically pleasing. This is a world that I would not mind being in. And uh, the character diversity and it, 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 uh, it blends very well. Like characters blend very well into the environment. I seem, I feel like they did a, a very good job of immersion. That's the proper word. The immersion of this game. It's a mix of like near Automata and Genshin. I really fuck with it, man. I really fuck with it, dude. The parkour, the gliding. I, I really fuck with it, man. There's crafting and gathering of materials in this game. There's a lot of concepts, like I said. They're here. And the one thing that I noticed, every character that the, that he switches to has a different meter, meaning every character is going to change how you play the game um, or how you interact in, uh, in the battlefield, right? Um, which, again, that's something that Genshin Impact had, right? Where the different characters had different roles, so to speak. Um, but yeah, that that's a little bit of the PC gameplay, right? So I'm going to pull up a little bit of the Android uh, play test too. And this is done by Gaming Mobile. Uh, obviously it's not gonna be as high quality as on Android, you know. Um, that's why I, I showed PC first. A uh, little bit of the parkour, it looks great. Um, the game still sounds good to be on Android. It's not as high quality. Not sure if you guys can tell uh, with your headphones or whatever you're watching this on. Um, But the one thing, uh, one thing is, I'm not sure if what graphical settings he's on when he's playing this on Android, because obviously not all phones are, are made equal, man. So I can't say if this is how the game is going to look on every phone. I personally have a very expensive phone, so games usually look very high quality. I can't read Japanese, so no real reason to watch that cutscene. Um, but this, like the mix, the diversity of the enemies is great in this game. Like I've seen them fighting everything from like what looks like to be like other humanoids, military type, to these beings, these creatures, which. I don't really know the, the name of them yet, because it's obviously it's uh it's in a different language. Um let's skip forward one more time until he gets to Yeah, this is the last thing I want to show. Um right after this look how massive the open world looks man i absolutely love it when they're adding in the glider and park like it just looks like i'm gonna get that legend of zelda experience and i'm gonna get or uh i'm gonna get that open world experience you know that breath of the wild gave and I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to seeing more about this game, learning more about the lore, learning more about the concepts. I firmly believe that this could be one of the best anime games to drop this year. But anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. Um, for those of you that don't know, I did just start a second channel um, based upon real life stuff. I'm going to do better to separate my gaming and my real life. So for anybody who doesn't care about my real life antics or whatever I'm doing, um, you know, it's it's not going to be on this channel anymore. For those of you that do want both sides of the content that I plan on dropping, uh, I'm going to link 
my new channel in the description of this video and i'm also going to try and link it uh via the, the entire channel itself but anyway thanks for watching though you guys uh i'm looking forward to hopefully a great great 2020 um year i mean 2022 why do i always say 2020 i'm looking forward to a great gaming year for 2022 Hopefully we really get something fire because I feel like I've been kind of stagnant, but peace and love you guys.